Christmas has come and gone and most of us have already taken our Christmas decorations down and now our homes are starting to feel empty and cold and gloomy and just not as cozy as we'd like them to be. And my job today is to help you figure out how to make your space a lot cozier this winter. And so yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tommy Fletcher and I'm so glad that you decided to stop by. So today marks the first interior design related video for 2023 and that is so exciting. I am so so excited to be bringing you my first video and yeah so one thing that I need to address is the lighting in this room right now. I'm using some artificial lighting because it's already dark outside. And so you're gonna be seeing a few shadows on my face and I hope that that doesn't um, bother you too much. But yeah, anyway, let's address the elephant in the room. Most people have a problem with decorating their home right after Christmas because their Christmas decor basically just fills up their spaces and it makes their homes feel complete. So when it's time to take it down or after they've taken it down, it's so hard to be able to bring in the coziness that Christmas decor um, brings in our homes. And so I'm here to offer you some help and hopefully once you're done watching this video, you will go away with some gems that will help you to um, make your homes cozy this winter. So I personally have three strategies when it comes to making my space cozier, especially in the winter time. And these are pretty simple. The three steps or strategies are are adding layers, texture, and lighting. So I personally incorporate my fashion style with my interior design style because they kind of work hand in hand. When you think about fashion, it's cyclical and it's also seasonal. If I had to give an example, in the summertime, we want our clothes to be a lot more airy. We also want them to be lighter, a lot lightweight, and that's how we kind of want our homes to feel as well. And so the same thing goes with the winter time. In the winter, I bring out tons of layers, especially if you live in places like certain places in the US as well as in Europe and Asia who are in the winter right now. It tends to get really, really cold. And so we want to bring out tons of layers in order for our wardrobes to feel a lot more comfortable and also feel cozier. That's the same strategy that I use in our space. So I'm going to use this little area behind me right off our entryway as an example. When I took down all of the Christmas decor, of course it felt it was a blank slate except for the lamp and I wanted to layer it in order to make it cozier in here. And so I started with some books because books are pretty much the easiest way that anybody can layer their homes, be it magazines or just coffee table books, even library books work. So, well, don't keep your library books because we don't want you to get into trouble. <laughs> you need to take those back. But you can find any type of books, school books and stuff like that. They are in abundance. And I actually get most of mine through thrifting and from Dollar Tree. So this is possibly the easiest way that you can add layers to your space and very easy to style. And then I decided to add a vase or vase over the books. I decided to bring out some color this time around because it just felt really, really cold in here. And even though blue is a cool toned color, it works. It just works. I like the nice almost cobalt blue tones that are coming from the vase and then also because my record player is actually a vintage record player i wanted to incorporate something a little bit more modern or contemporary and so the vase did that for me and then to add texture to the vase i decided to just add some dried pompous grass and some dried baby's breath and that's 
a, the perfect way that you can um, add texture or layer your space. And I know people may feel like pampas grass and dry baby's breath is for the fall, but it works all year round because it comes from nature. Anything natural, whether you dry it or it's fresh, just feels so, so good. It's timeless in my opinion. And then I also decided to add something with a little bit more interest. I added a candlestick. This is, I think, don't know if it's a marble or granite candlestick, but I thrifted this um, last year and it just brings ties in the space and just gives it a lot more interest and then of course i can light the candle in order to add some lighting into our space and make it feel even cozier and behind i layered our mirror with a smaller mirror because one i wanted to cover the light switch the light socket behind it or the light switch behind it and then at the same time i wanted the reflection of all the layers and yeah so that's pretty simple we have tons of layers from the candlestick to the vase on top of the books and the mirror over it and that just kind of uh, brings out a lot more of those cozy vibes because that's basically what we do do during the festive season we have layers upon layers upon layers with the Christmas tree and the ornaments and, and uh, blankets and pillows and everything in between and so that's an easy but effective way for you to make your space a lot cozier and then we have a peninsula as well right next to um, this record player and on the peninsula I just decided to add a throw blanket and that adds tons of texture to this area it doesn't feel so cold anymore when the bar stools are empty it's kind of plain but once you just throw a blanket over one of the bar stools it just really really elevates the space that is a really easy way for you to uh, cozify your space is to add tons of texture through um, throw blankets or uh, shag rugs or throw pillows it really does help and another way that you can bring in texture just like I had mentioned with the dried pompous grass is you can also add fresh flowers because you don't have especially if you don't have too much greenery in your space. Of course, I'm a plant mom and I have tons of greenery in our space, so there's no shortage of greenery, <laughs> but it really does help to brighten up your mood and it helps to even bring in more layers and more texture. And then right next to it, we have my vintage lamp, which is perfect for lighting, for moody lighting, because we still want that cozy feel. Uh, I personally do not like overhead lighting. I have some overhead lighting right above me. And as soon as I'm done filming this video, I am going to turn it off and I'm just going to have my lamps and my candles burning. And it's it just makes a room. It makes a room so moody. It makes it so cozy. And that's why lighting is very important because the more moody of the light, especially if it's like warm lighting the better your space feels and the cozier and the warmer it feels and so that is something that you can do this winter trust me you're going to thank me later <laughs> that is if you don't already know and it's the exact same thing that i did even to all of our spaces that felt really really empty i basically just filled them in with things that um, make me feel really warm and cozy so it could be a vase with dried flowers in it it could be a candlestick on top of some books it could be a statue that you really love I have this vintage um, angel statue what do you oh is it cherub statue do you call them cherubs I don't know if that's what you call them yeah but I have that statue and it's just there's something about it. It's got so much character that it just cozifies our space. And the same thing goes with our um, cabinet. Um, as soon as I took everything down, I wanted to bring back all my old decor to fill it up and to just layer it all over again because that just makes our home feel like a home. And I know that's what most people want. They don't want to be in a space that's cold or sterile or gloomy you want to feel 
like you're being hugged in your space. You want to feel safe and you want to feel comfortable and cozy. And that's basically what I wanted to achieve in our space as well. So hopefully these tips helped. This video is not long at all, but I just wanted to put it out there just in case somebody needs to, um, just in case somebody's struggling to figure out what they going to do with their space this winter. So I hope you learned something from this video. Let me know in the comments down below if these tips were helpful and please consider subscribing if you haven't already done that because I'm going to be bringing you tons of interior design as well as fashion and everything in between in line with vintage and thrifting because that's something that I love to do. And yeah, there's so much exciting stuff that I have in store for you in 2023. We're going to be doing some makeovers very, very soon. And hopefully I'm going to be working on other people's homes in the near future. So that is that. So anyway, I'm going to say good night because I am out of words and I just don't want to keep rambling. So I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.